Here in the city of Detroit, occupying a large annex to the General Motors office building, is the headquarters of an outstanding member of the General Motors family, Chevrolet Motor Division, organized in 1911 and consolidated with the corporation in 1918. The demand of the motoring public for Chevrolets has created in this unit the world's largest motor car manufacturer, with operations so decentralized that it has spread employment in 17 communities where factories and assembly plants are located. It produced and sold over 1,100,000 units in 1936. Its sales are greater than any other General Motors division, and it is a large consumer of products manufactured by other units of the corporation. And here is a rather interesting piece of history. At the time of the reorganization and management of the corporation in 1921, a survey was made by an eminent industrial engineering concern as to the various corporation properties. The most important recommendation that came out of this study was that Chevrolet should be liquidated. The reason being that in the judgment of that organization, it had no future whatsoever. Chevrolet's economic record, and particularly the success of its management over a very extensive operation, is outstanding among General Motors units. Chevrolet's position of leadership in the highly competitive low price field is one which is not easy to hold. But that position is amply justified by the quality of its products, as well as the aggressiveness with which its products have been merchandised by dealers and salesmen all over America. Aside from the profits and the prestige that comes from such outstanding leadership in the greatest of all industries, Chevrolet has made important contributions in the way of personnel. The outstanding example being our esteemed president, Mr. W.S. Knudsen, under whose leadership this remarkable growth and progress was initiated and maintained for many years. In the 